the war has already changed Belarus in the sense that it has now become a really um, big focus point in the international community. A few years ago, the layman had never heard of Belarus. Today, people are talking about President Lukashenko, the, the so-called non-elected president of Belarus, as he, he's become a, a, a staple figure in international uh, news programs and in people's minds. So whatever happens in this war, Belarus will no longer be the forgotten country of Europe. And I think that will also mean that the international community will be much less forgiving towards Belarus and will not let it get away with the kind of human rights abuses it's got away with in the past. The big question, of course, is whether Belarus will continue to exist as an independent state if Russia is able to get, keep some of the territory as conquered in Ukraine. And the, the absorption of Belarus into Russia seems inevitable if Russia is able to, to get its way in Ukraine. However, if there's a military defeat of, of Russia in Ukraine, this could potentially um, give some kind of breathing space to Belarus to, to maintain its independence. Whether or not it would be a democratic Belarus or not will also depend on internal developments in Belarus. But last but not least, there is a, a very dark scenario that one can think about. That is related to the fact that Belarus is now allowing the stationing of Russian nuclear weapons on its soil. No nuclear weapons have been stationed there, but there is now this possibility in the new Belarus constitution. If, and this is a big if, but if Russia were to decide to launch a tactical nuclear strike against Ukraine from Belarusian soil, to avoid reprisals on Russian soil, this could have very dramatic consequences for Belarus because of the potential reprisals from Ukraine or from the West. Well, in my view, none of the possible outcomes entails uh, very good news uh, for Belarus uh, because the country has got itself into um, what we call an um, alliance, security alliance trap uh, due to its uh, very close relationship uh, with, uh, with Russia and uh, the country has, was led to play an instrumental role in Russia's aggression against Ukraine, which um, entails the uh, um, co-responsibility for uh, the crime of aggression. For now, the country is uh, withholding from joining uh, as a co-belligerent. It has not sent any troops uh, to Ukraine but unfortunately, the um, government has lost agency over the past uh, months, is increasingly dependent on, 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 uh, on Russia economically, diplomatically, and uh, therefore it might not enjoy the full room for maneuver to continue refusing to join the war, in fact. If Belarus gets fully involved and uh, Lukashenko sends Belarusian military to Ukraine, and Russia is victorious, then any form of liberal transformation will be impossible for Belarus. And uh, Lukashenko will have no more choice but to actually to be even more dependent on Russia. The West will break even more ties with Belarus. So that will create the future that will make even today's Belarus, Belarus sovereign by comparison. A scenario defined by Ukrainian victory would mean diminishment of the Russian influence in the region, but to which extent and which implications it will have for, for Belarus, well, that's remaining an open question. Uh, because on the one hand, it's possible that uh, Russia will be so weak that it will be not be able to help Lukashenko all the time, and so the chances for democratic transformation, they will increase. On the other hand, Russia can, might become weak and it will, might become angry that it lost Ukraine and that is why it's possible that it will be willing to annex Belarus. Whoever wins, Russia or Ukraine, uh, the comp implications of this war on the future of Belarus will be uh, less significant if the Belarusian army doesn't get fully involved in Ukraine. And actually, this is the reason why Lukashenko is refraining from sending the Russian army to Ukraine, that he wants to avoid its consequences.